La Grande Affair is my new recording, and it's a, it's a collection of Michel Legrand songs um, that I chose with him. And it's really not about uh, me, it's really a collaboration. I met Michel Legrand on Broadway. He was the composer of Amour, which uh, came over from Paris. And I always loved his music, and I came in as a fan. I was, I'm a flat-out fan. And so I wasn't just there to play Isabelle. I was there because Michel Legrand's in the room. For me, it was the center of the universe. I first discovered his music at home. My father's a concert pianist, a uh, classical pianist, and he's also a doctor, but uh, always wanted to be a professional pianist, and he uh, spent his life playing music. But when he really wanted to seduce my mom, he started playing Michel Legrand music. It's very evocative music. It's like romance. I don't know if it's sexy like we think sexy, but it's from that period, the late 60s, the 70s, you know, when uh, things were alluded to, and that was sexy. It just seemed like it was a very alluring time, and maybe it was a classier time. So it has both the sinuous and naughty business, but it's also just, um, it's, it's classic, it's eternal, you know, it, it, this is classic music. I just finished Dracula on Broadway, and uh, and Michelle and I had been staying in touch a little bit. Michelle says, "Melissa, now your show is closed. Come, we'll get, get, let's get together and think." And I thought, I'm not usually the kind of person. A lot of actors aren't. You do your own work, and you sit down and create your own project. And I sat down with him, and I thought, "Well, this might go nowhere." You know, I'm just I'm double blessed already that I got to meet him. But so we sat down, and we started to. Um, I, he came to my apartment, and uh, we sat down and went through the music. Together, we kept gravitating towards intimate, sweet, soft music. We weren't going for the, the big belty stuff, the um, on my way to you um, theatrical kind of material. He wanted to. He 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 was saying things like Melissa, like like uh, something delicate in intime, sensuel. You know, it would have been uh, easier if it was just me and him at the piano. Um, because we, we have all that on DAT recording, we have, you know, and it was quite pretty, he plays so beautifully. But uh, he said, no, 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 it has to be enormous, 100-piece symphony. And uh, he pulled a favor with his orchestra in Leuven, and, uh, and we went, it was a 100-piece symphony, and they're now called the Brussels Philharmonic, and they're unbelievable, and they've been doing his movies for a million years. And uh, uh, it sounded unbelievable. It's big. It's a big record. It's a big idea. Um, and even if it's not a narrative thing, it's kind of a, it's kind of an odyssey. It's an odyssey into a very, this man has a very deep imagination and these songs mean a lot of things. And so she takes her summer time. It's wishful for a, a, for all the for for a, a, the most beautiful things in life. It really is. It openly wishes for beauty. It does, and I do wish for that. I wish for peace, and I wish for um, uh, things to be a, a bit spectacular, you know, um, uh, but kind, tender, uh, calm, soothing. And I hope people, when they listen to it, will just hear how improbable it is that some masterful man like Michel Legrand orchestrated for 100 pieces, you know? It's really about him. It's really about him. It's about that imagination. I was just there to be 
the sort of center to tell the stories. But I hope when you listen to it, you just marvel really at, at him.